Good morning and welcome to 7 at 7. I'm Pastor Daniel. This is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello. We're so glad you could join us today. Got a word of encouragement, confession, and prayer coming up here in just a moment. But before we dive in, we'd love to hear if you have any prayer requests or praise reports. Love getting to celebrate those with you. Yeah. <clears throat> today, we get to dive back into God's Word. It is 1 Peter chapter 3 is our chapter. Yesterday, we got into the first seven verses um, and just this powerful invitation that our witness is more important than our comfort. Yeah. And that should be displayed in our marriage. That should be displayed in every part in our work life, in our parenting. Um, it's a powerful thing when we put in perspective not what do I want right now, but how am I a witness for God right now? And whether it's in our, our marriage, our work, and our parenting, all of these different areas, it changes things when you're like, what do I want right now? Uh, I want them to stop. I want the, just this quiet. But how I handle it is my witness as I'm representing God. It's, anyways, there's a lot in there. And I could just dive in and <clears throat> keep going over those verses. But um, is, as we go on in here, um, it says, not returning evil for evil or insult for insult, but giving a blessing instead. For you are called for the very purpose that you might inherit a blessing. And then he goes on, um, says, the one who desires life to love and to see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Yeah. And he goes, the secret to, to a good life is learning how to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, he goes through and says that for so often he goes, if you can keep your tongue from evil, if you can keep your tongue from speaking negative, if you can keep your tongue from cursing your future. And it's so easy when we think of a curse as a spell from a witch, we don't think carefully about how we're speaking. Yeah. But when you realize that when I speak death over something that I'm cursing it, yeah. then how many times do we call things stupid that we paid for? Um, how often do we make negative comments about our own self or our own future? And when things go wrong, do we go, oh, that's a bummer? Or do we sit here and go, well, that's my luck. That's just my life. That's just, and do we begin yeah. to, to, um, to prophesy a negative future right. for our life? Um, and I think this is just such a powerful thing when we begin to lay a hold of how we use our tongue. When I love verses 12, well, I guess it's 11 and 12. So it says, turn away from evil and do good. Work hard at living in peace with others. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. And his ears are open to their prayers. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. And it's just this reminder that we can count on the Lord when we're living for God and we're doing the right thing and we're speaking the right words, remembering that God is watching over us, that his ears are open to our prayers and that his face is turned toward us. It's so good. And he goes from there uh, in verse 14, he goes to, it says, but even if you should suffer for the sake of righteousness, you are blessed. Um, and then he, and he goes on, but sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you yet with gentleness and reverence. And I look, and this comes back to how we started the chapter yesterday, of my witness is more important than my comfort. He goes, you might suffer for righteousness yeah. at some point. And he goes, but you're blessed. Be ready to give an account. That means... I should be living in such a way that they notice and ask. Yeah. Um, and in a different passage, he goes through and says, well, what good is it to you if you suffer for doing wrong? Anybody can suffer for doing wrong. What glory is it to you if you're nice to people who pay you? Yeah. Like, you don't have to love Jesus to be nice to someone who pays you. Yeah. But when you are a witness... When you are kind to a waiter who's doing a horrible job, when you respond with love when somebody else was harsh, then they go through and they go, how come you didn't yell back? Yeah. How come, how, what, what's different? 
And he goes, that's when, when they're challenged to ask, what is the hope that you have? And that's our call. Our call is to follow him and to be his witness, to be a window into the kingdom of God where they can see him on display in us. You know, when we pray, God, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, we're supposed to be a part of that. Yeah. And when we go and, hey, in my life, in my decisions, God, have your way as you do in heaven. And if lying and, and uh, short tempers aren't what's in heaven, then when I respond, then those shouldn't be in my response. Yeah. And it changes things. Yeah, so good. We're just recognizing that giving an answer is expected, but doing so in a gentle and respectful way is part of that. Yes. Yeah, I love how this whole chapter talks so much about how to respond to one another, how to be a good Christian to those around us, how to show God's light and his love. Yeah, I love in this, this translation is, is talking about this response with meekness and a wholesome, serious caution. Um, that it's just so important that we respond with the love, not based on the what's my right, but God, how do I represent you well yeah. in this situation? Yeah. And when that becomes our focus, that begins to direct our choices. And that begins to direct our steps. And we begin to become a witness in all the places that we go, which is such a powerful thing. But let's get into our confessions for today. All right, say these after me, okay? I am made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. My words will bring healing and life. My words will bring healing and life. I speak words that bring encouragement. I speak words that bring encouragement. And strength to all who hear them. And strength to all who hear them. I use my words to partner with God. I use my words to partner with God. I am quick to listen. I am quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I am a light to the world. I am a light to the world. Shining with God's love and grace. Shining with God's love and grace. I seek God with all my heart. I seek God with all my heart. And he reveals himself to me. And he reveals himself to me. I take every thought captive. I take every thought captive. And make it obey God. And make it obey God. I think on things that are true. I think on things that are true. Honorable, just. Honorable, just. Pure, lovely. Pure, lovely. Excellent and worthy of praise. Excellent and worthy of praise. I encourage others and build them up. I encourage others and build them up. Whatever I speak or do. Whatever I speak or do. I do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. I do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, I thank you that we can do things in your name, that we can represent you well. God, we ask that you would help us to remove the areas in our life that don't reflect you. God, that we could seek you, that we could put you first, that you could be on display in us and through us, and that as, as we display you, that those around us would be drawn towards you, that the kindness of God would draw them to repentance, that your love, that your that our word, that your word on our lips would draw them towards you. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you have a great weekend. We hope to see you Sunday, 9.30, 11.30, and then again at 5 p.m. Be blessed, and we'll see you then.